the following 30 heads come under the zodiacal sign of Cancer of the zone girdling the earth, their seals have to be drawn in a silvery white color. Figure 115, Nablum, 1 degree Cancer, will be pleased to inform the magician, by inspiration and intuition, on the various degrees of warmth, temperature, in respect of alchemical spagyric methods. However, since these not only play a role in the preparation of plants and metals, but also other fluids, for instance light, color, tone, oscillation etc., the magician may also be informed by him on these things. Nablum is an expert in alchemic and spagyric operations, and the magician can profit much in this respect by his inspirations. Figure 116, Nudatoni, 2 degrees Cancer, the magician, being in connection with this head, gets from him closer information on the eruptions of volcanoes on our physical world and on the earthquakes with them. Nudatoni can inform the magician in advance when a volcanic mountain will throw out lava. Nudatoni, or his servants, can, if requested, accompany the magician on his mental or astral wanderings into places deep under the earth to show him hot springs, caves with stalactites hidden treasures or anything else which is to be found under the surface of the earth. This head is at the same time a very good initiator into the science of pyrotechnics, especially as far as operations with the electric and magnetic fluids are concerned, and he informs the magician how to bring about various pyrotechnical miracles in a magic manner with these fluids. Figure 117 colon Jekyll, 3 degrees Cancer knows about all erotic secrets and can initiate the magician into them. He is always prepared to furnish the magician with many magical means by which love can be aroused or diminished. Apart from this, he informs the magician how he can, by the force of magic, make himself beloved by and attractive to the other sex, and how one may become effective from the erotic point of view. He will, if he wishes be informed by this intelligence on the most secret arts of sex magic. Figure 118, Holy, 4 degrees Cancer, this head is an excellent initiator into sympathy mummial magic. He can give information on how, with the help of the elements, the magician practicing mummial magic can bring about various effects, and he can apart from that, explain to the magician the influence of the electric and magnetic fluids on nature. Holy introduces the magician into special working methods which have not been known to anyone up to now and which have to do with mummial magic. The special mummial magic instructions given by him or by his servants can help the magician bring about effects which he would have never thought of. Figure 119, M. Phalian, 5 degrees Cancer, advises the magician on how he can get a strong and healthy constitution, a handsome, attractive face, fascinating eyes, I. E. The freshness of youth which he will preserve into advanced age. From Amphalian the magician gets the necessary instructions for the preparation of substances by which he can so impregnate his body that it will not decay. If a magician has a good connection with this head, he will be given the appearance of a youth, though he may already be rather old, or he may at least always give his fellow men the impression that he is but a middle-aged gentleman. Also the preparation of magic elixirs from various plants for special magic purposes will be fully revealed to the magician by this intelligence. Figure 120, Pleroki, 6 degrees Cancer, explains to the magician the actual facts about the so-called message through the air which is especially well known in the East. He tells the magician, should he wish it, about suitable methods in which he is an expert so that finally the magician will also be able to send messages to far-off people, no matter whether they are initiates or not. The magician is taught by this head to make this phenomenon work on the mental and astral, and sometimes even on the physical plane by help of the electromagnetic fluid and the air element, or by the help of beings, spirits, and the like. The magician will also be able to bring about other magical phenomena by the help of Pleroki. Figure 121, Lozeman, 7 degrees Cancer, informs the magician on the original mysteries and original systems of the religious beliefs of the oldest peoples of the world and also on the magic phenomena which the people of the times past, especially their high priests, were able to create. 
Lozeman knows in what way and under which circumstances the phenomena of those days could be brought about today, and, if requested by the magician, he will initiate him into these methods. At the same time this head is able to reveal to the magician the secrets of the phenomena of levitation, so that these can either be brought about by the help of beings or by the special powers or faculties which the magician has acquired, because he has learned to control the electromagnetic fluid, and by the help of these fluids the magician is able to regulate or overcome the gravitation of the earth. The magician is, in that case, able to withdraw from the earth its power of gravitation and by doing this he makes himself, and also other people, as light as a feather so that, in consequence, he is able to walk along the surface of waters without sinking or to lift his body into the air. That he can practice this art with any object whatsoever is quite clear. Figure 122, Kiliki, 8 degrees Cancer initiates the magician into the mysteries of rhythm and vibration, and, at the same time, teaches him how both rhythm and vibration can be set at work in any sphere or plane. Kiliki is regarded as the master of life, for life is nothing else but rhythm and vibration. Figure 123, Oromos, 9 degrees Cancer, can give excellent information on occult faculties, especially on clairvoyance, clairaudience clair feeling, psychometry, and the like. He gives the magician special instructions concerning the manufacture of magic mirrors, their charging with certain influential powers etc. and he teaches the magician how to charge mirrors in the quabalistic manner. Even though the magician might be a perfect clairvoyant, Oromos can teach him how to increase his acquired faculties. This head also advises the magician on how he can procure familiar spirits for certain purposes and how he is to treat these. Oromos gives the magician also exact information on the so-called controlling spirits for magic operations. If the magician has a good connection with this intelligence, he may get from him many other good and valuable hints. Figure 124, Tarato, 10 degrees Cancer. This head instructs the magician how to influence the weather by the magic of water, by electrical and magnetic fluids, by magic rituals, by the cosmic language, and the like. He who has good contacts with this head can let it rain or stop raining at his will, can lead lightning into a certain direction, can cause a hailstorm and is, in general, able to bring about and evoke anything that has to do with the weather. Figure 125, Horima. 11 degrees Cancer, this head knows all high magic mysteries dash mysteries of initiation, of the zone girdling the earth and also of our physical world, and can not only teach the magician to understand them, but he is also able to arouse the magician's intuition and inspiration by his radiation in such a manner that he learns to control all mysteries of wisdom from the universal point of view. One may call this head the instructor in magical enlightenment. Figure 126, Tmako, 12 degrees Cancer, initiates the magician into all secrets of transmutation of powers, effects, and the like, in the zone girdling the earth and into the secrets of plants, minerals and metals in our physical world. This intelligence, too, may be called a guardian of true alchemy. Figure 127, Naimalon, 13 degrees Cancer. Any magician dealing with invisible beings and intelligences and also acquainted with the science of the Quabala will sometimes have made the experience that it may be very difficult to reproduce intellectually the language of the beings and the cosmic language. Naimalon can assist the magician in this respect by making him acquainted with the methods by which he may acquire the faculty of finding, at any time, the right means to express and explain what might be communicated in the cosmic language and the language of beings and intelligences. Naimalon may therefore be regarded as a marvelous initiator into the mode of expression in all intellectual languages. Figure 128, Kamalo, 14 degrees Cancer, this head is well informed on the remotest secrets of magical science and shows the magician means and ways, as well as methods by which he can make himself invisible. It is with Kamalo's help that the magician becomes invisible, i. e. that he can betake himself into all spheres, mentally, astrally and, if necessary, also physically, 
without being recognized there. The faculty of making oneself invisible anywhere desired is quite a special faculty that is only controlled by a few magicians. Figure 129, 9 tricks, 15 degrees cancer, this high initiator into magic teaches the magician the art of dematerializing any object by appropriate methods, that is to decondense it, and to materialize, that is to condense it, again in the place where he wants to have it appear. The magician may also employ beings for the dematerialization and recondensation which Nymtrix will place at his disposal, should the magician want it. Figure 130, Calote, 16 degrees Cancer, is a phenomenal expert and master of cosmic laws. He is also an instructor in divine virtues and therefore informs the magician about these, showing him how these divine virtues, in their cause and effect become valid under the legality of the microcosm and macrocosm. Figure 131, Squion, 17 degrees Cancer, makes the magician recognize to what extent divine love, mercy and all parallel divine virtues in respect of their legality, harmony and justice are applied, and come into play in all the spheres and planes. From Squion the magician learns to differentiate these earthjack secrets. A magician who is allied to this head knows not only about the karmic effects in all spheres, but he also becomes acquainted, at the same time, with very high quabalistic secrets of the divine emanation. Figure 132, Sykesty, 18 degrees Cancer, instructs the magician in respect of the most subtle analogies and secrets of the evolution of the microcosm and macrocosm. From Sykesty the magician learns to know, at least from this intelligence's point of view, about the act of creation colon question mark of everything as divine providence purposes it. Figure 133, Abagrian, 19 degrees Cancer, is an expert in magic formulae, and the magician in contact with this head is informed by him on the use of the various magic formulae and at the same time learns about their magical power of effectiveness in the mental, astral and physical world. Abagrian can teach the magician many magic formulae for his protection against negative and unwanted influences. Figure 134, Kibagili, 20 degrees Cancer, the magician is taught by this head the faculty of evoking, with his mental body, subordinate beings in the zone girdling the earth, I. E. Not in our physical world, and to protect himself against diverse dangers, malice, and the like. To carry out an evocation in the zone girdling the earth with the mental body alone is far more difficult than in the physical world, for the, the magician has no supports for his consciousness. What can be affected by such evocations will be explained in detail to the magician by Kiba Gilly. Figure 135, Arakasan, 21 degrees Cancer, instructs the magician cause, purpose and effect of diverse laws and may, apart from this lead him towards deep wisdom. Arakasan, like many other heads of the zone girdling the earth, may be regarded as a high priest of magic. Figure 136, Magyo, 22 degrees Cancer, the magician is instructed by this head in how to put into action certain powers directly from the zone girdling the earth and how to realize them in the mental, astral and physical planes. Magyo allows the magician to penetrate deeply into divine emanation, I. E. Into the workshop of divine providence. Figure 137, Derelizing, 23 degrees Cancer, is master and initiator of the magic of space. The magician is taught by him how to become master of time and space not only in our physical world and the zone girdling the earth, but also in all other spheres of the macrocosm. What it means to be master of time and space in all spheres, can only be comprehended by a really mature magician. Derealizing gives him detailed information on how to make magical use of this faculty. Figure 138, Akehimo, 24 degrees Cancer, this head instructs the magician on how to know and control the various degrees of oscillation of the divine virtues qualities and powers from the Akasha principle of the zone girdling the earth for the purpose of emanation. What this faculty means, cannot be explained by simple words, it can only be grasped by the genuine magician who also deals in practice with this high science. 
Figure 139, Araga, 25 degrees Cancer, makes it possible for the magician to look into the workshop of divine providence by using appropriate methods and purification procedures and to recognize and experience the correlative relations between the Akasha principle and the divine light, the first emanation of divine providence. It need not be mentioned that this possibility leads the magician to the highest enlightenments of the zone girdling the earth. Figure 140, Gran Ona, 26 degrees Cancer, tells the magician about the means necessary for achieving cosmic alliances within the interplanetary spheres by diverse visions, no matter whether they occur in trance, during sleep, or in daydreams, or whether they are caused by the help of magic mirrors. In this way the magician, assisted by Gran Ona, may recognize, in the planetary spheres, causes and effects reproduced either in true shape or by symbols. Figure 141, Zagol, 27 degrees Cancer, instructs the magician on the magic of cosmic spheres. If the magician places himself in any sphere with his mental body, for instance, into the zone girdling the earth in which he possibly intends to practice ceremonial magic, he can evoke, into this sphere, beings from other spheres in exactly the same way as if he were doing it in our physical sphere. What laws, and the like, have to be adhered to in case of such operations in certain spheres is a question on which Zagol will give the magician exact information. Figure 142, Menelika, 28 degrees Cancer, is a master of the Quabella, I. E. A master of divine G. This head teaches the magician how to use divine names, in a quabalistic manner, for various spheres. Apart from this, the magician is informed, by Menelika, about the various virtues of divine emanation, its cause and effect in each planetary sphere, from the quabalistic point of view. Figure 143, Forfasn, 29 degrees Cancer, draws the magician's attention to the various systems of wisdom. He reveals to the magician his own individual way in which he will travel once he has reached a certain degree of maturity. In the zone girdling the earth this head is regarded as a protector of wisdom and the keys to it. Figure 144, Charanth Ona, 30 degrees Cancer, imparts to the magician diverse practices with the Akasha principle. On the basis of special methods Charanth Ona demonstrates to the magician how diverse magical operations have their direct cause in the Akasha principle, and therefore produce effects. Charanth Ona is an excellent connoisseur of the laws of cause and effect, i.e. an expert on karma.